people, um, well, you talked to a lot of people that worked at the Keg Restaurant when it was here. If anyone doesn't know, Keg Restaurant was here from about the 1970s up till about seven, eight years ago when they moved out. They moved up to Bavard and um, Bavard and Ten there, up by the Walmart. Now, I bring you here because I have personal experience. I used to be a keg manager back in the 80s, and I worked for a company called Crock and Block Restaurant. Some people remember it. Yeah. Other people go, wow, the old fart man, he's older than I thought. Okay, yeah. I don't want to hear that. I can read mine sometimes, okay? And then for some of the kids, they're going, what's that? Well, I did training at the Crock and Block here, but when we, I was a Crock and Block manager, my job was we just got bought by the keg restaurants and we were converting over the Crock and Block to keg restaurants and this was a training facility. The Brampton Keg was an excellent restaurant and we used to bring staff here to train and that was what my job was. And I lived in Downsview at the time, not in Brampton. And I'd be here at night uh, closing. It'd be say 1.30, say 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 by the time you get out of the restaurant because uh, the the drinks uh, were only served at one o'clock back then, not like a lot later than they are now. But you're sitting there at two o'clock in the morning in the restaurant, everything's turned off, and then all of a sudden, boom, every TV, I look in here because I remember it, all, all it was yesterday, every TV, every radio, everything just suddenly, everything came on, and the noise, and it's just, it just scares the living daylights out of you. At the time, I never even had an idea that it was actually, I knew it was haunted, but, or who it was, or even if I try and think about, hey, who would know, 30 years later, I'd be doing a ghost tour here and know who actually wants the place. Uh, your life changes so much that way. But I'd be sitting there at night, and I'd be sitting with another manager, with staff, and all of a sudden you'd hear something, all of a sudden you'd hear a bang. And you turn around, you go out, and you check in the kitchen area, and you see, oh, there's a knife that was in the holder, is now sitting on the floor. And it's not like on TV, knives work like flying by and you're doing the ninja thing like that. No, it was just things were knocked off the table. And even to this day, now that it's a bike shop, the owner doesn't believe it's haunted. He's told me that. But some of the staff that work there, I know one quite well. And he has told me that when he's working back here, he'll be working and he'll be working on this part of the bench and doing something with the bicycle. And all of a sudden, you'll hear a bang on the floor and one of his tools is actually slid off the table and landed on the floor. And the table's not slanted, the building's not slanted. That's a spirit. It haunts this building. But the thing is, who haunts this building? This building it was the keg restaurant. It was also a factory at one time, a department store. It was a, a royal hotel, one of the royal hotels. They had several of them. Uh, burnt back in the, around the mid-1900s. Uh, it's, it's been on this spot, but what I did find by researching going back, that originally there was a building here in 1834, and if you go in the doors behind me here, and go downstairs, you can still see the original footings from 1834, about this high, of where the original building used to sit up higher. Because the Etobicoke Creek used to run along the back there. So this was a hotel when it was built in 1834. It set fire and burnt to the ground with everyone in it. Four people died in this fire. We have no newspaper articles from 1837 telling who it is. All we do is we have government reports saying that four people had died in the fire. And when they died in the fire, the register, their name, and everything about them left, vanished. No records at all. So I believe that those are the four people that actually haunt this building. 